The Last of Us Episode 3 was the most different from the game so far. Spoilers ahead for both the game and the show. And remember to leave a comment letting me know what you think of The Last of Us adaptation so far. Y'all ready? Let's go. I liked Ellie in this episode. She has a morbid curiosity for the infected, and slices a cut into the head of an infected at the gas station to see what's beneath his skin. She also asks Joel how the infection spreads so suddenly and thoroughly. Joel offers a pretty good answer, saying that it probably spread in a common food item like sugar or flour. A bad batch that infected a lot of people over a small period of time. For once, I was happy to turn away from Ellie and Joel's story into a series of flashbacks with Bill. I always liked Bill in the game. I got an odd sense of satisfaction when Bill emerged from his doomsday bunker and started gathering supplies, securing his home, and setting up traps. A few years into the outbreak, we get to meet Frank, Bill's partner, who in the game dies before Ellie and Joel make it to Bill's fenced-in town. But in the show, we see Frank and Bill's life together. Their relationship was kind of a light in the darkness with this tragically beautiful ending that made me cry. The ending to their story was very different from the game and the biggest change so far. It reminds me of the ending of Stephen King's The Mist, which was very different from the novella. I won't say it here because the movie is worth watching if you haven't, and spoiling the ending is just... It's just not done. But after much thought, I had a similar reaction to Bill's story. Although it was tough not having Ellie and Joel meet up with Bill, I liked the love story that the show crafted. In their first meeting, it was awkward, but that just made it all the more real and authentic. It was both sad and sweet watching two old men in love grow old together. Nick Offerman was a great choice for Bill. I found him to be very convincing. He was a quiet man with a tough exterior, so when he reached his breaking point, I cried when he cried. I wanted more scenes with Bill, and part of me wished that door was still open, but the window was open instead, so... Although the ending for Bill is different, things for Ellie and Joel remain relatively the same between the show and the game. With the exception of Bill's letter, which unintentionally reminds Joel that he failed to keep Tess safe. What did y'all think of episode 3? Thank you so much for watching, and if you liked the video, don't be afraid to subscribe. Bye y'all.